abomination? Bryce! <laughs> Ta da! <gasps> oh, that's cute! <laughs> abomination! Splendid wordplay! A plus! Yippee! Yay! Hmm? If Amity saw that. I saw that! Abominations don't eat! I know you're in there! You can't hide from me! What are you? Who are you? I want answers! Amity Blight! Huh? I suspected a twinge of jealousy, but this... This is just sad. But I... Uh, no! Look at it! <laughs> Report to Principal Bump's office. Uh, but... Now! <laughs> Not so fast! <laughs> I'm not letting you get away so easily. I want my badge! Abomination! Seize! <laughs> oh, what about Amity? Last we saw, she was asking Bump if today could count as extra credit. Someday that could be one of you. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, a punky potion is. Ow, ooh. Watch where you're... Oh, it's you. Willow's abomination thing. Uh, hey, Amity. So, funny story. Not an abomination. Sorry for the confusion last week. I I'm Luce, the human. Hi. Ugh, put that away. You're the one that got me in trouble with Principal Bump, and I never get in trouble. Well, to be fair, you were okay with him trying to dissect me, so... You can't be here! This convention is for witches only. Well, I'm learning how to be a witch. I'm receiving magic lessons from a powerful witch and a ferocious demon. Is that your ferocious demon there? <gasps> Oops, that was an accident. Why are you being so mean, Amity? Because you and your pet are giving witches in training a bad name. I am not a pet! He's a very good boy and the king of demons. I'll tell you what, Amity. It's one thing to say I can't be a witch, because you can't. But it's another thing to bully my friends. Just like the good witch Azura said when facing down her rival Hecate at the bog of immediate regret, I challenge you to a witch's duel. <gasps> <gasps> I accept. Let's set the terms for this duel, shall we? One, if I win, you apologize to King for squashing his cupcake. Good night, sweet child. And two, you admit that humans can be witches too. Fine by me. But when I win, not only do you have to tell the whole convention you're not a witch, you have to stop training forever. Do it, Luce! For my honor! Fine, let's shake on it. The everlasting oath is sealed. That's probably fine. Meet back inside the theater in one hour. Let's see what kind of witch you are. Need I need your help. I accidentally challenged Amity to a witch's duel, and I think she's going to kill me all the way dead. Abomination. Rot. Show me what you got, human. I'm not good on new pressure! How did you do that? I, uh, magic? I saw you that time. You didn't use your hands. What are you getting at? Not dying. How are you doing that? No, Amity, don't step any closer. Why, Luz? What happens if I step closer? Ah! Oof! Ah! Hmm? I'm okay. Spikes? I knew it! You were cheating! It wasn't my idea to cheat, and when I found out, I tried to stop it, but... Who could believe anything you say? Oh, wait just a sec, Ms. Protégé. A power glyph from the construction coven. But I didn't know. 
Amity, wait. Luz! Help me! <laughs> My offerings! You'll get more offerings, King. Hey, wait for me! <gasps> Amity, I'm sorry. <laughs> Seriously, just leave me alone. I didn't mean to embarrass you. That's all you ever do. First at school and now this. Yeah, but... You made me look like a fool in front of the Emperor's Coven. My future! You think it's so easy to be a witch. I have been working my whole life to get to the top. You lost! You cheated! Say it! Say you're not a witch! I'm not a witch. But I'm training hard to be one. That's nothing. A child could do a light spell. But I've never seen it cast like that. It doesn't come naturally to me like it does for you, so I've had to improvise. <sighs> the oath is unbound. Did it work? Can I still learn magic? Humans have no magical ability, but I doubt that'll stop you. Luz! Hey, you friends! Wait, what's wrong? Who hurt my babies? Them. <laughs> <laughs> it's conjuring night. No dorks allowed. What a jerk! Amity's updating her Pinstagram! Shout out to my fellow witches. Hashtag humans can bite it. What do you think you're doing? Oh, I've been caught. Pretend to be a book. <laughs> Wait. We're your friends, and we want to help, said the tin boy with a yelp. Odebin smiled and paced the floor. I've never had real friends before. Amity reading to kids? <laughs> Amity. Amity seems so nice and smiley. Maybe I can befriend her like Azura befriended her rival. <gasps> Ugh, you. Amity! Whoop. Reading to kids! Wow! Looks like this sour lemon drop has a hidden sweet center. It's for extra credit. Don't get your leggings in a bunch. Human! Do you see me going to the owl shack and bugging you while you... fry up owls? <sighs> okay, I don't really know what you do there. But every time you come near me, I get in trouble. Just leave me alone! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, Mittens! <laughs> Mom says stop forgetting your lunch. And stop being a jerk to your friend. She is not my friend. Yeah, makes sense. She seems too cool for you. I am? You can leave now, all of you! <laughs> I'm Emra, and this is Edric. We're Amity's older siblings. We heard how you embarrassed her at the school and at the witch convention last week. No wonder she hates you. I know, but I didn't mean any of it. I thought we were as cool as cucumbers, but we're as sour as pickles. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Uh. Amity's even madder at me now. I didn't think that was possible. No, nah, when Mittens gets mad, she looks like this. <gasps> this is great. First I befriend the siblings, then I befriend the Amity. Ah! <laughs> <sighs> Almost passed out. I saw that human girl again. The diary. I may have overreacted. I don't want to come off as cruel. I just can't show weakness. No. I know Amity can be kind of cold, but no one deserves this. I wish I had somewhere to go. Why won't the human leave me alone? I called my teacher mom again. Uh, sorry I haven't written for a while. Wait, why am I apologizing? Really? Uh, I've been trying to figure out what your deal is. Are you a poser? A nerd? I know. You're a bully, Luce. Amity, wait. First you embarrass me, then you want to be my friend? I don't get you. Pick a side. Please, just listen to me. Just go away before things somehow get worse. Huh? <clears throat> uh, uh. <gasps> Amity! <gasps> Amity? Azura? Close. Is it drawn okay? I kind of interpreted the descriptions. Loose! Ah, right. Great work, Lazura. Hey, 
I was trying to save you. Well, it doesn't matter. We're gonna be stuck together forever. No, we aren't. Follow my lead. One. What are you doing? Two. Three. Ah! <laughs> now what? I don't know. I didn't even think that would work. I was all like, ah! <laughs> There is no tear. I cannot mend. Oh. Ah! Luz, quick! <laughs> what an adventure. Thanks for helping clean up. This never happened. Wait. It doesn't make up for reading your diary, but... Would you want to borrow this? I noticed you only had up to four. Thank you. Maybe you aren't a bully. I haven't exactly been the friendliest witch either. I'll think on that. You imagine it. Me, in the halls of Hexide, studying with Willow and Gus and maybe even Amity. Amity! Oh, Cramity! We're supposed to meet so I could get my Azura book back! I love you guys! Amity, 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 Amity. Gotta find that. Oh! There she is! Hey, Amity! Luce is finally here! Hi, Hi Luce! Luce. Wah! <laughs> <laughs> Edric! Emera! Stop bothering her! Sorry, Luce. They insisted on coming for some reason. Because we love you, baby sister! Ah! They've been extra protective and nice towards me to make up for the library incident. And we still apologize every day. In any case, here's your book. So, what'd you think? It was fine. So fine, you drew yourself with Malingale, the mysterious soothsayer? This is great! Maybe we can even start an Azura club at school when we're classmates. When we're what? Surprise! I'm enrolling at Hexide. Oh, uh, sorry, but to be in my class, you need to take a placement exam and prove that you've mastered two spells. I know you have your light thing. Uh, do you know anything else? Placement exam? Spells? Quit giving her a hard time, Mittens. Yeah, of course she knows two spells. Right, Luz? <laughs> yeah, of course I know two spells. <laughs> Because if you don't, they'll put you in the baby class. Ooh, brain idea! What if we all train together? We could show off what we know. What do you say, Luz? Bye! And best of all, we're completely alone! Watch out! <gasps> Sorry, whoever's over there! Forget teaching me a spell, just make me disappear. What's that about the baby class? Amity! <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing here? I'm here to train. I'm trying to beat Ed and M's highest score on the exam. <laughs> if I want to be in the same class as Amity, I'm gonna need to learn magic like Amity. Great work, Luce. Huh. Her cross hatching has improved. Ah, Luce! What did we miss? And what are you doing with my wand? Um. Did you use this all up? I... I didn't know. What do we do? I am going after them. You are staying here. But the beast has Ida. And because of you, it also has my brother and sister. Now stay put. You'll only get hurt. Hemity! Wait! Luce! Hello! Uh, how did you get past the barrier? Magic! Literally. Now, forget that, because you and I have to work together if we want to save everyone. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. <gasps> Luce! <sighs> you showed some real bravery in there, sis. Yeah, nice work, kiddo. Stop! <sighs> so, it looks like we'll be in the same class. Azura Book Club? Azura Book Club?! As long as it's a secret club, okay? It's not a secret! We're gonna tell everyone! <sighs>
Achoo! All right, your adorable banter is literally making me sick. Let's go home already. On it, Teach. Hey, Luz. Congrats on getting in. And not being in the baby class. Thanks, Amity. Up top. Blech. So you two go to the same school now. Uh, that doesn't change anything. <sighs> huh? Hexide Free Press! What's going on here? <gasps> Hi. You destroyed Willow's memories? I saved as many as I could. Ugh, why would they make memories so flammable? <laughs> I can tell we're gonna be good friends. <laughs> so, this is the Owl House. Yep. And you sleep here? When the Night Critters allow me to. Sounds like that can change everything about a person. Amity, you have to go with me. You set everything in there on fire. You have to help. <sighs> okay, I'll do what I can. All right, bold choice taking the girl who caused the mess. Wow. When you're done, ring that and I'll cast you back. Oh, and keep an eye out for her inner willow. She's the gatekeeper of emotions and memory. She might help you. Now. Loose. I think I found the memories. Let's go. Willow was a late bloomer. I know, but now she's more like a great bloomer. You want important moments? This one might be about a crush. <laughs> hey, you okay? Yeah, I just, I can't believe I almost erased all this. I really messed things up. Don't worry. We've gotten really good at fixing memories. I won't rest until we've got this all sorted out. Repeat after me. We can fix this together. Come on. We can fix this together. Heck yeah, we can. I know some of these memories must be painful for you, but what happened to you guys? And why are you trying to hide it? I just... <gasps> What's that? Look, if you don't want to talk about it, just say so. No, I actually saw something. At least I, I think I did. Wait, that's not... It's eggs. It's full of eggs. Why is his memory full of eggs? Yeah, that one's hard to explain. We're getting pretty good at fixing these. <gasps> yeah. Me? A void? No. But let's skip it. Where's Edith's bell? Amity, you gotta stop being weird. Look, I'm not here to judge. I'm just here to help Willow. Help? All you're doing is prying into your friends' lives. Well, did you ever think maybe it's none of your business? Hide, hide, hide! Please, please call Ida. I don't want to be here when it comes out. Why won't she answer? Yeah, she is not super reliable. See, that thing isn't after any photo. It's after you. Woo! Teamwork, baby! Loose. Uh. All right, I put people in there. Whoa, what went down here? And where's Gus? Maybe here I could be your Grom Queen. That's, uh, not something people usually sign up for. <gasps> Watch it, nitwit. Oh, hi, Luce. And Co. Sorry about that. No problem. Let me help you. Here, your note. Man, you got some quick grabbers. It's just, it's... Private. Amity Blight! <gasps> Our Grom Queen! It's Amity! Amity! Woo! Amity! Get it, Queen! Don't leave me hanging! Hey! They're not for decoration. This arena's where I'll make my debut as Grom Queen. Right. So, why don't you seem excited? Because this isn't just some dance party. And mine is... Very embarrassing. If it worries you so much, why don't you tell Principal Bump you want out of this deathmatch biz? <gasps> Unless talking to Bump is your greatest fear. <laughs> no, but that's a good idea. Thanks, Luce. Hmm. Ah! <gasps> oh my gosh, Amity! I'm so sorry! <sighs> and here I thought this day oh, couldn't get any worse. Did you talk to Bump? Was it as terrifying as you imagined? <sighs> he said no. I'm Grom Queen. Unless I can find a replacement. 
Who'd want to switch with me? I would. What? Amity Blight? I'll do it. I'll take your place and face Grom in the arena. I'll be your fearless champion. <laughs> fearless champion? Amity! If that bird tube ever talks to me again, I'm going to destroy it. You ready to train? Luce, you need to take this seriously. If you can't defeat Grom, everyone on the island will have to live out their worst nightmare. You want to hear my worst nightmare? Luce, I don't think you're ready, but we're literally out of time. I'll take it. I'm not sure if it's nerves or if I accidentally drink some milk, but something's making my stomach squirm. You look nice. Strange, but nice. And thank you, Luce. Honestly, I'm kind of amazed with how fearless you are. You've done things I could never do. <laughs> yeah, right. You going soft on me, Blight? <laughs> In your dreams. And... <laughs> Wish me luck. Luck. May I have this dance? Did you want to ask out? Oh, it's it's not important. <laughs> but when things got tough, my friends helped me out. Out of this, Amity. Oh, Luz, you're here. I mean. Obviously, you're here, this is school, and you go here now, with, uh, me. I've been talking for too long. Amity, we need your help. Yes, I can help! With what, exactly? Basha won't stop picking on Willow, and no one will do anything about it, because she's the star captain of the Gretby team. Yeah, this time of year, she's extra unbearable. You're friends with her, can you help us? Uh, the hard part is there's no reasoning with Basha. She only speaks in grudgeby terms. Mm. Okay, okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down. I'm not putting anything down. <laughs> Luce, this isn't a good idea. What about you, Amity? Me? On a team with you? <laughs> Running around in cute uniforms? <laughs> Sweating? I gotta go! Huh, well I guess she's out. Tough practice. I pushed Willow and Gus too hard. It's just, I hate seeing Willow get picked on. She's one of the best friends I've ever had. Winning this game is the only way I know how to help. Did you know, before Basha, I was the Grudgeby team captain? Really? Uh, well, once I left the team, I decided that was a part of my life I wanted to forget. Thorn Vault. Good Witch of Zora 2, Field of Deadly Fates? You watched it too? Uh, yeah. I never played again after that day. Ah! Sorry, I just really love backstories. I know what I need to do to make this up to Willow. Thanks. We forfeit! <gasps> Luz needs our help! I know she pushed you guys, and she always gets in over her head. She can be so stupid, which I love. I mean, hate! In any case, she needs you right now, which is sweet. I mean, I hate it, and it's dumb. You lost me. Right here. You just destroyed your social life. No, I think I made it better. Ugh, game on! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
leg but I'll be okay are you sure I could help carry you if it really hurts <laughs> I'm fine <laughs> who's Amity and scoop <laughs> oh wow sports can we have another montage <laughs> It's undefeatable. How will I ever escape? Huh? <gasps> Amity! You just lost us a lot of money! What's with you lately? I see. Hey, Luce. Amity! In celebration of your return, I have brought you a homemade fairy pie. Oh, wow! That sounds so... Good. The ingredients are very fresh. Thank you. I mean expelled. What? What? No, but us! Good! Amity! Tell them! No! Wait! Wait! Uh, wait. Stop! Wait. No! Wait, 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 wait. No! Oh, my Amity! Oh. Amity! I'm a... I'm sorry. I was a coward in there. But my mom... Hey, I get it. You're scared of her. But I'm not. And I need you to take me to her. She seemed open to talking things through. No. No, Luce, you don't have to do that. Yes, I do. Willow and Gus don't deserve this. So, will you help me, please? I... I can't. I have to go. Mom, I'm ready for the show tonight. Found a replacement? Did anyone come to the house today? Mm. Luce is in trouble! Again. Okay, I can use the root system underground to tunnel our way in. That'll take too long. We should just rush the guards at the door. No, no, no. I'll distract them with illusions of beautiful lady guards. This isn't a cartoon from the 40s, Gus. We need a better plan. This could work. We should just bust our way through. You're stunting my growth as an artist. We're running just out of time. Just let me try this. Let's get in there now. Here's an idea. <gasps> Amity, wait! Blight, you are in so much tr- <gasps> Luce, are you okay? Your precious investors will watch me rip this thing apart bit by bit. Can you actually do that? Shh. Besides, she's getting stronger. Come on, give it back. No! If you give me back my hairband, I'll read you whatever book you want tomorrow. <gasps> Finally! I can learn how to summon the Dark Lord! <gasps> hey, hey Luz. Luz! Are they bothering uh, you again? Oh, no, I just came here to see you, and, uh, here you are. <laughs> <gasps> 
I was actually wondering if you could help me find this book. Hundreds of years ago, there was a human named Philip Whittabean living in Bonesboro. And he donated his diary to this library. And this might tell you how to travel between realms, right? Yes! My mom probably thinks I'm missing right now. I have to get back to her as soon as possible. Well, something this old would be kept in the forbidden stacks. I'm sure I can find another way. <laughs> hey, wait. I never said I wasn't gonna help. My staff card should be able to open those doors. But once we're inside, you have to listen to everything I say. If we're caught, I could lose my job. You won't lose your job. I promise. Well, let's not waste any time. Hmm? <laughs> so, we'll be super sneaky and quiet. Got it. Malthus is actually the one who gave me my job and my own study room. He's usually nice, but if we're caught, he'd feed us to the bookworms. I know here that probably means unholy blood-sucking snake monster, but in the human realm, that's just a cute name for nerds. <laughs> the human world sounds odd. Maybe it would be less odd if I showed you around someday. But uh, let's turn back. I don't want to push you. We're getting that diary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You little rat! I am so... Not right now, Luce. Everything's changed since you came here. Being around you, it makes me do stupid things, and I wish it didn't. It's okay, I... Uh, I do stupid things around you too, Amity. I'm sorry about everything. I'd understand if you never want to see me again. Uh... It's different. Oh, yeah. Mom always liked it green. I thought I could use a change. Uh, how'd you get this back? And what happened? Well, to convince Malthus to hire you again, I had to go through some trials. And categorize some man-eating books. And tame something called a paper dragon. That guy was not fun. This is an echo mouse. It consumes knowledge through writing and can play back anything it eats. We dealt with him a lot at work. Watch. The Ages. Entry 1. May 21st. Thank you, little mouse. I hope you and I can become good friends. Don't worry. You always have a way of sneaking into people's hearts. Oh, Moo, sister. <sighs> uh, okay, good to see you. Farewell forever. Why did I do that? 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 Shouldn't Amity be here? Oh, sorry, Luce. I heard she stayed home today. Oh, <laughs> that actually makes sense. Can you please be quiet? You're scaring the Echo Mouse. And if he's not happy, I'll never make my way into Amity's heart. I mean, make a portal back home. Uh, we have to go. You're scaring the Echo Mouse. And if he's not happy, I'll never make my way into Amity's heart. I mean, make a portal back home. Uh, we have to go. <sighs> okay, little mouse. If you don't want to tell me about Philip or how he made his portal, maybe you can tell me how to ask out a cotton candy-haired goddess. Amity's smart, cool, and classy. Asking her out should be breathtaking, emotional, and real. Everyone back home said I was cheesy. Can't let Amity think the same. Amity? Oh, yeah, that's silly. Why would Amity be in our... <laughs> Luce? Where are we? I think Hootie brought me here? Uh, well, this is our basement. I am so sorry about this. Hootie's been acting weird all day. Yeah, house demons get like that after a couple thousand years. Did you just say something? Get out of your hair. Hey, Amity, wait! This wasn't me. This is all Hootie's stupid idea. Yeah, this was stupid. I mean, us? Dating? <laughs> That's stupid, right? <gasps> What's going on? I don't know, but things always get weird when Hootie's upset. Are you 
get you okay. Whoa. Not as okay as you. Dang, girl. I have a few questions for later. <gasps> he was trying to help me ask Amity out. Oh, whoa. Do you wanna? Mm-hmm. Then do it! Like this? <laughs> Amity? <laughs> oh my gosh, Amity, are you okay? I'm alright. I was just... I've been wanting to ask you something for a while. But I wanted to do it in the best way, and in the tunnel of love, I thought... Amity's too cool for this. I'm not as cool as you think. Okay. Everything is so crazy right now, and I have no idea what my future holds, but it would be so cool if you were in it. So, uh... <sighs> Do you want to go out with me? <gasps> no, I was so ready. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you can say it. <sighs> okay. Amity Blight, do you want to go out with me? Yes! <laughs> okay! Why is this still so scary? I don't know. And Luce's new GF showed her tips and tricks to get more information from that old human's diary. They're adorable and deserve all the happiness! Does this seem fine to you? Whoa! Please. She just has the common mold. It's harmless. But she's a human. We have no idea how it'll affect her. If I hit the portal key, would I return to the human realm? Yeah. Um, yeah. I am not getting this back until you're better, okay? Aww. Oh, uh, you got it. I was taught to see every situation as an opportunity. And today, I'll show Luce that I am an awesome girlfriend. Luce! <gasps> Mouse! Fill up diary entry! I have to go to Eclipse Lake! <laughs> Luce, no, you are not well. She is shockingly strong. You guys are the best. I volunteer as well. As Luce's girlfriend, I must... I get it, Boots. Just grab a coat. Titan blood is the most powerful source of magic on the Isles. I'm not surprised Bellos wants it, too. Well, we can't afford to mess this up. Luce is counting on me. I mean, us. I ever see that human again. Watch it. The Owl Lady and her pet have nothing at stake, unlike us. You have no idea what you're talking. I was gonna say, you have no. <laughs> Oof, that doesn't look good. Stay back! But what doesn't look good? Seems clear to me. Come back with results, or else you can figure out the rest. No, Luce wouldn't make that kind of threat. I'm an awesome girlfriend. Has she told you that? Uh. Guys! <gasps> I gotta reach Amity! <gasps> What's he talking about? Luce has been sending me these strange human codes. I don't understand all of them, but this one seems pretty clear. Come back with results, or we're done. <laughs> you are rad. Fool's blood bad. You okay? Come home? <laughs> of course. This is Luce we're talking about. Hey! <sighs> now come on. Being nice usually works for Luce. We know where to find you. And you're human. <gasps> so just hand over the key. Fine. Just stay away from Luce. So glad my awesome girlfriend is okay. Me too. No king hug? What is this? You are a swindler and a thief! Come here, buddy! I regret this! <sighs> I wonder if I could see... Amity! Huh? No, no, no! Come on, Luce, you're on a mission. I never got a good look. I heard he's scarred from wild magic. I... <sighs> Amity! Hola, Batata. Did you just call me a sweet potato? Yes, is 
that not a term of endearment? Uh, I'm still figuring out this human language book from Gus. Aw, Amity. You're the sweet potato. Uh, so, did that Titan blood ever come in handy? Uh, <laughs> I haven't used the door yet. I'm waiting for a good moment. <laughs> you know, later, taters. Huh? So, Luz has been acting super weird, and I think she's lying about her trip to the human realm, and she left her phone, uh, fun, uh, her thingy at school, and... <sighs> you need to slow down for me. Luz says she hasn't been to the human realm, but I just get the feeling that she's lying. And I can find out the truth by watching this. But I'm not gonna invade her privacy like that, would you? Right! I, Hecate, will whisk you away to my kingdom of mirrors and snakes! <sighs> Sweet potato! How did you know? Book 5, Chapter 8, Azura pretends to kidnap Hecate during the ice festival to save her from the wizard clan. You remembered my favorite part. Yes, but right now I just want to keep my girlfriend from being sent to the conformatorium. Again. Ooh! You can tell me about this? <gasps> uh, don't worry, I haven't watched it. But you did finish the portal door. You did see your mom. And <sighs> it looks like it didn't go well. I'm sorry. I know this situation is crazy, and I'm okay taking things one day at a time. But I can't help if I don't know what's going on. You just look so hopeful. You were even learning Spanish. And I thought if I helped out Kikimura, maybe there'd be hope for me. Tell me what happened. Okay. So, I had finished the door, but it didn't look like the normal... Is Bellows planning something? And why did he say he's gonna meet you again? Didn't you already meet? What else don't I know? What's gonna happen? I... I'm not sure. But for now, we'll take things one day at a time. Luz! <sighs> I heard that... <sighs> Spill it, Hermosa! The author of Azura is having a signing this afternoon at the Book Nook! Huh? You are much less excited than I imagined. Whoa! Hey! See? Human! Can the author of Azura... Travel between realms? Get off me! You guys aren't cute! We thought Mildred Featherwild sounded too delightful to be a real name. Do you think she has her own portal? <gasps> Do you think she's related to that human guy, Philip? What if the author is Ida? She's been keeping it secret this whole time because she's embarrassed by all the spelling errors. Okay, these theories are a little unrealistic. It's obviously your mother as a teenager sent forward in time to train you in the ways of witchcraft. Whatever it is, we're gonna find out soon. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do now, Amity? I don't know. I've never found another store that sold those books. We were so close! <laughs> I think that's her. That's the author! Mildred! Oh, Featherwile? <laughs> ah, follow her! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's Kikimura, and her only way to express herself is through fiction. Maybe it's another shape-shifting basilisk, trying to write their story through metaphor. Tanella Nosa? She's had a name this whole time? From the series. I, I didn't know, I swear. Ow! Oh. Sometimes it's nice to be reminded that you don't need to be a powerful ancient witch to make something special. Well, I had fun coming up with those theories. 
They were like our own stories. <gasps> what if the Azora Book Club was also a writing club? What would be our first writing prompt? Hmm. How about the mystery of <gasps> what they were up to all night? Ooh, let me see, let me see. <gasps> what? Luz! I have a problem and it could distract us all day. <gasps> Tell me all about it and don't spare a single detail. I don't even want to join a coven anymore. And this thing is so embarrassing, I even tried disguising it. Yeah, I actually think Ida has the same outfit. Oh, the Bonesboro Brawl is the one cool thing my dad did before joining the Abomination Coven. It would have been nice to share something with him. Well, hey, I'm here to help. You ditch the tryouts and enter the brawl. What? Come on. You should know I always go for the chaotic route. Don't worry. I got you, boo. <gasps> Not bad. Ooh, so pretty! <laughs> <laughs> Is everything okay? Ida told me it's a special day for you. She did? I mean, it's nothing for you to worry about. Not even worth talking about. Really, I, I just want to help you. Besides, can't let you have all the fun, Blight. Just don't get hurt, okay? <laughs> you doing okay, Yamity? Yeah. This is just a nasty one. I'm gonna take a walk. Come on, Amity. It's showtime. <laughs> <laughs> The Mighty Mittens! I didn't want to worry you. Well, I am worried. You've been acting weird all day, and now I'm in trouble. What is going on with you? It's nothing, really. Seriously, it it's nothing. Going anywhere with you. Either of you. <gasps> Amity? Can I, uh, sit here? I've always wanted to enter this brawl. I thought it would be fun to bring home the belt. And I thought I could understand my dad better. But then you joined the competition. And then you tried to mess with that abomaton on your own. And then you lied about it. You've been acting strange all day. Does it have something to do with the human realm? Oh, okay, okay. I don't talk about this because it happened like a long time ago, and it's, like, totally not an issue anymore, but, uh... That's not an excuse for what I did. Like I said, it happened a while ago, so... I... Didn't want to bring it up. He always brought us flowers on our birthdays, so after he passed away, we started picking flowers for each other. And then we'd visit his grave, and me and my mom would spend the day together. It's nice, but... This year, I, I'm not with her, and I don't have any flowers. And when you told me about the problem with your dad, I don't know. Maybe I was jealous or just needed a distraction. I was dumb. I'm sorry. <gasps> <laughs> Whoops, got a case of the old jelly legs. I'll catch up. I don't know what rituals you have in the human realm, but I'll help you pick some flowers and we can do something here. Thank you for listening. I can't wait to pick flowers with you. Went along with it. I bet you didn't even know I was dating Luce. Edelin's kid? Find any good ones? No, not really. Let me try. Ugh. How do you get it to do what you want? You gotta know what you need. I can't believe I didn't try this first. My head's really on backwards today. Now what? Do you think they'll reach the human realm? Probably doesn't work that way, but... It's a nice thought, right? What kind of language is that? The language of love, Ida. But it's unfinished. It just says, grounded, come quick. 
And then nothing. But as exciting as saving the world sounds, it's not nearly as romantic as going on a rescue mission to save your girlfriend. I never said I was gonna... Ooh, but you wanna. It's written all over your face. Of course I want to. But I also want to be there for you. I'm gonna fix it, and I'm gonna get a message out to Luce. I'm gonna do something. We already tried burning down the factory. That's what got us grounded, too. The world is ending. No one will listen to us. And I just... I just want to know that Luce is safe. Probably something dorky, but also sweet. Like, how I shouldn't give up and that anything is possible. I should say that I might be scared now, but to not let that stop me because, because every problem has a solution. And everything's been so crazy, we've barely been able to spend time together. And I am not letting the world end before we go on a real date. Whoa, you're right. I would say all that. <gasps> Loose! Sweet potato! <laughs> I'm gonna take you out when this is all over, Amity. I promise. No monsters, no mysteries, no deadly duels. It's going to be the most mundane slice of life date ever. And it'll be awesome. I know. Oh, crikey. I can't believe I just did that. I can't believe I just said that. Oh, crikey. How did I even think that? Come on, Luz, be cool next time. Luz, I don't think my parents know what they're helping Pelos accomplish. Will you help me tell them about the draining spell? Of course. That's why we're here. Are you trying to make me look bad? She's trying to help people. Hush, brat. Don't you talk to my girlfriend like that! Girlfriend? Oh, no, no. That won't do. We'll find you a new girlfriend. Someone who's not on wanted posters everywhere. <laughs> Really? You're embarrassing yourself. Luce, I apologize for Adalia. You are always welcome at our home. I'm confused. What's going on? I'm sorry. It happened so fast. I didn't even realize what was going on until she was gone. She... she wanted to protect you. And Ida. Then that means... she's being taken to Bellows. We're barely halfway there. Luce could be in trouble. Man. Let's focus our energy on helping Luce instead of fighting each other. Did you really think we wouldn't follow you? Yeah, girl, get with it. You guys are literally the coolest! Luce! I'm back. <laughs>